Hey guys, um, <clears throat> I know I said I'd do a video on the first uh, day of school, but um, this week's been kind of hectic, so I'm just going to summarize the whole uh, week of school, whole four freaking days of school, considering it started on Tuesday. Um, it was really interesting with Avis and just like being a senior, everybody in the school practically like knows me unless they're freshmen and they haven't been there obviously they wouldn't know me um so everybody's known me as the girl with the with the cane or something like that and everybody's interested in the dog so funny <laughs> so funny when I walk down the hall it's like everybody's just like oh cute doggy cute doggy cute doggy oh my god there's a dog in school I mean some people freak out obviously because they're afraid of dogs or they have an allergy or whatever so they freak out um the majority of them are dog lovers. I've actually seen some of my old teachers. And, sorry, I'm hot. I'm going to take this off. It's cold and I'm hot. I'm cold and I'm hot. Oh my god. So interesting. Um, not really. That's actually annoying. Anyway. Um, so. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the majority of them are dog lovers. I've seen some of my old teachers. Uh, they're very happy for me. Um. Some of them, I was talking to them last year about it, and they were super excited, and now they, like, they're dying to see him. Now, everybody, uh, I've done the whole, I was gonna do, like, okay, first day of school, you can pet the dog or whatever. Um, now he's not really, um, behaving as well. I'm gonna see about trying to get that under control by at least by February. Um, I know this seems like a long ways away, but I got him in July, so it's August, September, October, November, December, January. That's seven months. Mm. Okay, so either like January or February, I'm going to wait until then, see how his behavior is, and then see if like then I will let people touch him or pet him, because right now he's just a little rowdy. Um... It's actually been kind of stressful the first week, uh, first day. It has actually been different since past years. Past years, you would have, um, you would have three classes one day and then a lunch if you took six. Um, and then those, you would have those three classes would alternate every single day. Uh, you'd have an A day and you have a B day. You have classes on A day and you have classes on B day, and they would switch every day. And then you'd have a lunch. If you're taking six, if you took seven, you would have four classes on one day and three on the other, and a, and a lunch on the other day. If you took eight classes, you didn't, you didn't have a lunch at all. You just took classes all the way through. Um, so they did away with that, and this year, everybody gets a lunch. So, hallelujah, we all get a lunch. We don't have to worry about the whole overachievement crap like that, like, sacrificing a lunch to be an overachiever or whatever, or to get that extra credit that you need, but, you know, you know what I'm saying, um, so what happens is, what happens now is we have four classes a day, if you still takes, if you still only take six classes, obviously that's eight classes, so if you take only six and you get two, what's called, it's called it's, ac oh, you can't see my quotes, it's academic, which pretty much is a study block, but they don't, they don't want to call it that, so they call it, it's academic. It is, but it's a study block, pretty much, for 90 minutes, and you can get two of those if you take six. One of those takes seven, none if you take eight. Um, so yeah, so we have those, and then we have a lunch, third block, every day. Uh, they have four lunches, either, and they're each a half hour long. So you either go to lunch, if you have L1 on your schedule, which is lunch one, you will go to lunch for 30 minutes and then go to class for 90. Yeah, 90. If you have L2, lunch two, you go to class for half hour. I think it's half hour? Yeah, it's a half hour. And go to lunch for another half hour and then... I think another hour, yeah, another hour of class. Uh, you have L3, lunch 3. You go 
to class for an hour, go to lunch for a half hour, come back to class for another half hour. And if you have L4, which is lunch four, which the majority of the seniors have, um, or I think either the majority or all the seniors have it, you will go to class for an hour and a half and then go to lunch and then go to your next class. And the reason why seniors have that is because seniors can get an off block, I mean they can leave our fourth block so they can just, as soon as they're done with their hour and a half of class, they can just scoot out of there. I can't do that because I have no way to get home. It sucks, but whatever. So some issues I've run into, uh, the lunches are shorter, they, they used to be 45 minutes. Because what would happen in previous years when you had a lunch is it was a 90 minute block, but they would split They would split it with the study block. So you'd have a study block for 45 minutes and a lunch, or you'd have lunch and then study block. Um, so now I only have like half hour, 25 minutes to go up, get my food, eat, take all of Avis's like like, take his harness off and unhook his leash to make it longer. Because the leash is... I don't have it in my room right now. Wait, I have an extra one. Um, let's see if I can get that. It's buried under junk. Got an extra one. Because it's a leather leash, so, you know, there was my schedule. A ton of stuff can happen to a leather leash. Especially with dogs. Oh, it's wrapped up. That's very handy. You wrapped it up in a rubber band. <clears throat> Come here, rubber band. Come off the leash. And you will probably go bye bye because I probably won't be able to figure out how to get you back on. So, where's my garbage can? I think it's over here. Oh, it got tilted over towards the world. Alright, now I'm stepping over stepping over all my school stuff because I don't have an exact place for it, so it just ends up on my floor. I do homework on my bed. Um, I'm supposed to be doing homework downstairs, but that didn't work out. I I do it. So that's the main thing, is I do it. Whether I have a place for it or not. Um, so anyway. Let's see. Oh wow, so he's just not even hooked. Um... I guess it doesn't really matter which end. Yeah, pretty much about the same. Okay, this end would hook to the dog. At least with my leash it would. At least I use. Okay, so the leash has... Sorry, guys, my iPad is being dumb, doesn't want to stay, and I don't have anything to bounce it on it's my leg. Stay. I treat everything like a dog now, I'm sorry. So anyway, the leash this is an extra one, so it's kinda hasn't been broken in yet, so it's kinda tight. Doesn't not really loose. It doesn't really bend as easy. Um has two hooks. Uh this hooks on the two little hoops on the thing, which would look like this. And this hooks onto the dog's leash. So when he's working, er stupid stupid thing. Um the leash is about, this is how much he gets. It's very short. And then this is how much I hold on to. And then, when he's on break, or ask for the bathroom, or whatever, and hook it. Maybe that end goes to the dog. Maybe it's this end. Let's see. Yeah, it's this end. Turns into a regular dog leash. Okay, so, my bad. This end hooks to the dog. This hooks on the, these things. Okay. And I'll hook this back up so I do not get that confused again, because if I do, I will be very mad. And if, if when and if I need this leash, which I'm pretty sure I might, but we'll see. It's a very good dog, he doesn't chew on anything, so that's a good thing. I'll put that up on that. Sorry, it's been a long week. Um, it's been a long day, really. So, in... Excuse me. Excuse me. In that half hour, oh my goodness gracious, I'm just having so many problems. I don't know what's wrong. In that half hour, I have to get my food, eat it, take him outside, take everything off him, make the leash, you know, longer, give him water, 
So Gav had to get his little portable bowl out off of, off of his harness, give him water, then let him go to the bathroom, which he takes his time, because he has to find the exact place to go to the bathroom. So that didn't work out. And um, if I do it during its academic, I can't do it on A days for one, because I don't have one on A days. I have four classes straight on A days. And B days, I'm in the cafeteria for three hours in the morning, and I don't get out of there until 10, 25, and he goes out at 11 or 12. So I'm, I'm in another class. And Hang on, I got a notification, so my face doesn't get... Oh, it, and it went bye-bye. Okay, uh, whatever that was, it'll wait. It's probably Twitter, which I'll pretty much ignore. Whatever. Um... So, yeah, that didn't work out, and I'm kind of terrified that they're going to change my schedule, because now that he's targeted everything, and I'm already confusing him, because I made the mistake of targeting stuff and making a route, and not using that same route, because I didn't take into account the times I'd have to go to the cafeteria, and I didn't know where I was going for its academic, because that was new this year, so... I did not take into account with those things, so now I'm going on different routes, and it's already confusing him. And I might have to retarget classrooms, because um, I might have to stay after school and do that one day or something like that, because he's just getting confused, and he, I have to repeat classrooms and say, I say, uh, for example, I say to psych, which is psychology, which is what I have first on A days, and he'll, he will pass by it. Mainly because there's a door at the end of that hall, so he's trying to target that door. But, um, I'll say Avis, where's Psych, and he'll turn around and find it. So, I don't know what to do. Maybe retarget? I'm not entirely sure. Just gotta ask my instructor. Um, so that's been going on. Uh, I gotta, like, snap back into, like, the little work mode. Because it's definitely not summer vacation anymore, and they're starting. They're starting new material, and I just need to, like, snap out of the summer and get focused again. Um, especially this year. This is my last year. I need, I've done everything to get to this point. I need to graduate. Need to. Sorry, lights fading in and out that I'm moving my hands. I talk with my hands a lot, so I'm sorry. Um... Um, what else? So, since he's targeted stuff, he's already getting confused. He'll even get even more confused if they switch my schedule, which I'm pretty sure they're going to do. So, so that I will have a, an it's academic on A days and B days. So, that's going to be a tad bit difficult. Um, because he's not like a student. He's not, he's not like a student that can... It's the, oh, it's like, oh, it's the first week, things are going to get switched around, nothing's set in stone. He's, might be a guide dog, but he's still a dog. His mind doesn't work that way. He patterns very easily, and now that I've shown him something wrong, he's already confused, and he's going to get even more confused. So I don't, I need to contact guiding eyes, because I don't know what to do. Uh, I'll probably have to do that over the weekend. Honestly, I don't know what to do at this point, and it's kind of stressing me out. Now, they didn't really take that into account, but I didn't really explain it, so I'm not entirely sure anymore what to do. Just, we'll figure it out. Um, and I haven't really done this in years, um, several years, actually. Uh, I'm on a special needs bus, which I really don't like the label. I haven't gotten any grief about it yet, which I'm actually surprised. Because I've ridden regular, I guess a regular bus, regular ed bus, my entire life. Except for when I was in, in preschool. Um, and I was going back and forth between an, an early learning school and my elementary school that I, that I later went to. Until about 5th grade. So I went to the elementary school for pre-K, kindergarten, through fifth. So that was the last time I rode a special needs bus. And now I'm riding one again. And it's kind of 
Um, it's not really stressful. Um, nothing really to it. I mean, I ride a bus by myself, and it stops and it picks me up and drops me off right at my front door, so I don't have to walk to a bus stop. So, happy about that. Um, I don't know why, but uh, for some reason, Avis growled at a bus driver today. We were just walking out to the bus, we were walking down the sidewalk. Um, I was looking for someone, because someone usually, because my bus is kind of like out in the parking lot area, so someone will usually, or the assistant will come up and actually bring me to the bus, or someone from special ed will take me over to the bus. So we're walking along. I'm trying to find somebody. I don't see anybody, so we just keep walking along. And he all of a sudden starts to growl. And I don't know what he's growling at. I don't hear or really see anything. Or really hear anything. And all of a sudden, I see... Or I hear a bus driver talking like, Oh, okay, I'll move out of the way. He's so far ahead. I didn't even know that he was there until he said something. And when I looked, all I could see was like a figure. Yeah, I could tell, I could tell he was white. I could tell he was a, ca a Caucasian. I could see that. That was it. Well... I could see that, and I could see the colors of his clothing. And that was it. I couldn't see any detail or anything. So, he was, he was that far ahead. Um, so, I don't know why he started growling. Um, everybody keeps saying he was just trying to protect me. He might have felt threatened. It could be true. I honestly don't know what happened. I don't know if he felt threatened or... I think he's getting stressed out as well, and honest to God, I do not blame him. It's just a stressful environment, and we're both under a lot of stress. So I don't, honestly, I do not blame him for being stressed out. Um, it's definitely has been a learning experience. Um, so, yeah, the first week uh, didn't really go so well at all and I'm so happy it's the weekend um, I'm, u I'm usually like very excited for the first week and I was very excited but I was very nervous as well because I didn't know what to expect um it was just it was just overwhelming like the first day was overwhelming because we had every single one of our classes it was a half hour long Every single one was a half hour long, so I'm I can't judge when to leave. So everything every single one was a half hour long, and then seniors, which is me, uh, seniors had to go to a spirit assembly with the juniors, a seniors assembly, and then lunch at the end of the day. So for one, I had to figure out when I was going to take Avis out, which I took him out during my it's academic because I was at the perfect time and it was a half hour. It was perfect time. So, that was fine. Um, sorry, I'm just thinking how they would change my schedule around. I just don't... I just don't want them to change my schedule around because I just learned my teachers... Like, I just learned... I know my teachers. I know someone... And that might be able to at least help me in class. I know some of the people in my class. I just don't want to be switched into another class and have to relearn everything. And if I get stuck with another teacher, I have to learn their what they're doing. And they might have already started something. And I just don't want to do that. I'll do what I have to do, but I just don't want to. So, yeah. All I can say is, I'm happy to be a senior. I'm happy I'm, I'm, I'm about to graduate. Um, to be honest, really to be honest, I'm happy I'm, I'm about to graduate. I'm ready to get the heck out of here. Um, the heck out of high school, I'm not leaving my home until I know exactly what I'm doing and where the fuck I'm going. I have no idea what I'm going to do with my life, so I need to figure when I, once I figure that out, I'm, I'll probably be out of here. Even though, sad as it is, my mother doesn't want me to leave. I will eventually leave. Um, 
So I will keep you posted on what's going on in school. Right now, the most interesting class I have is my Virginia Teachers for Tomorrow class. Doesn't mean I plan on being a teacher. It was just something I wanted to look into because I'm not entirely sure what career I want to pursue. I have ideas, but I'm not entirely sure what I, what I want to do. So, I will see what I want to do. And plus, I have plenty of time. I have my senior year, and I will not be going to college fresh out of high school. I will be going in about a year after because I have hair all over me. Because um, I plan on getting computer and braille skills before I go to college. Because I swear I haven't, I'm struggling at a high school level. If I even tried a college level without those skills, I will probably... I don't even know what I would be. I would just be so overwhelmed. It wouldn't even be funny. So, I really want to try and find a way to do everything on my iPad. Because it's the computer. I have so much anxiety. With the iPad, I'm fine. So, I need to, like, find a way. But, yeah. Um. So, I'll try and keep you posted on what goes on in school. All I can say is everybody's very interested. Everybody's so, like, when they, see, when they saw me with the cane, they're just like, when they saw me with Avis, they're like, oh, so you have a dog this year. You don't have a cane. It's like, yep. So, yeah. Um. People keep saying he's the, uh class mascot they say that in English that he's the class mascot everybody loves him to death some people can't get his name right <laughs> it's so funny when they can't get his name right so yeah I will keep you posted on school um I've already gotten some negativity people say he shouldn't really be in school it's not really, envir it's not really an environment for him to be in um really honest to god high school never really freaking ends. It's everywhere. No one, some people really just don't grow up. So, and it's where I'm familiar. And honestly, if you want to talk, like, you know me, or you know what a blind person goes through, and you know what a guide dog's like, unless you've had both of those, you have no right to speak. I'm sorry, but you just don't. You don't know, you, if you've never been blind you're in your entire life, and I mean, like, I don't mean, like, oh, okay, everything was blurry and then I got glasses. No, I mean, like, seriously. Like, it was considered a visual impairment. Unless you've had that, and unless you've gotten a guide dog, you have no right to speak. Because I've already gotten negativity on Facebook. Yeah, just Facebook. About that. About how Avis shouldn't be in a school environment, how I shouldn't take him to school. It's like, he's my, he's my dog, he needs to go where I go, he needs to help me. And he's not going to help me by sitting at home in his cage or whatever all day. It's not going to help me. So, honestly, unless, you've had, unless you're blind and you've had a guide dog, you have no right to speak. But you have no right to speak like, or act like you know everything about building a bond with a guide dog doesn't, yeah, it doesn't just happen, you can't force it to happen, but you can help it happen. I'm not forcing my bond with Avis to happen. I'm helping it by playing with him, by doing certain things with him, by working with him, um, by spending time with him, by taking care of him, by not letting anybody else help me take care of him unless I'm severely sick and I can't or for another reason I can't that forms a bond and it doesn't take several days or a month it takes six months to a year for this bond to form and the guiding eye schools are very good in what they do very good at matching up personalities and everything else so it does happen, I'm not sure how rare it is, but I'm pretty sure it is rare. It does happen that a guide dog will not be a perfect match for you, but that doesn't happen a lot. Not, like, everybody will walk away, um, most likely everybody will walk away with the dog. Um.
But yeah. So, and for people that think I shouldn't have gotten the dog in high school, I'm just going to say this. If I would have gotten him before I went to like a rehabilitation center or college, I would have to try and form this bond with him learn a new schedule, learn a new environment before I even took him in there because I need to know the environment so I know where I'm going. He needs to know the patterns where I'm going and the rooms I'm going into and the rooms I want him to take me to so he knows where he's going. I mean, guide dogs, all they do is guide you around obstacles and make sure you don't trip over anything. And make sure, like, you're not put in harm's way. You have to decide everything else. Where you're going. Um, where you're going. You have to decide if traffic's safe. If it's not safe, like, like, an example would be the right turn on red. Like, everything's, like, okay. You know, your traffic is going. Your, your parallel traffic is going. Traffic going this way is going. And then all of a sudden someone makes, once you start concentrating, someone makes a right turn on red or something like that. The dog will stop or the dog will back up or the dog will do something. But you have, you have to know everything. And he's going to sleep. And there he is. He's going to sleep. He's had a, he's had a rough week too. Yay! Stop falling, iPad. But oh, why'd you? Here's my beautiful chest. <laughs> Not, yeah, you know what I mean. That part. Too bad I didn't have a necklace on. I just took it off. Um. So I'll try and keep you posted on school. How that goes. So this should be. Extremely interesting. Everybody's excited. Everybody's like, come back and visit me. I'm so glad you came to see me and junk like that. And so, yeah. Um, I'm just trying to, because everybody wants to touch him and play with him and everything. So, and people know not to touch him. Some people know not to touch him. Some people don't. So, yeah. Um,. Where everybody, he's more popular than me. It, whenever, whenever I leave, most people will say buy Avis instead of buy Tori. So he, he's he's more popular than me. So um, so yeah, I will keep you posted on school. Should be very interesting this year. And hopefully, I don't get senioritis. That would really suck. Which for some of you guys that don't know what that is, senioritis is when you're mainly a senior in high school, but it can happen earlier. It's pretty much you just don't want to do work. You want to get the frick out and you don't want to do anything else. Um, yeah, it's really bad. So hopefully I don't get it this year. I'll try my best not to. So, yeah. I will talk to you guys when I figure out what the heck's going to happen next. So, have a good weekend. Bye.